this is Moto Slang, one, two, three. Uh, just got all the parts in to rebuild the um, 383 motor for the 67 Newport. I got a uh, whole new ring set. There's the uh, oil rings. And here are the upper and lower uh, compression rings. Let me get the damn light. And see them. Brand new. Upper and then the, the lower. And uh, what else I got? The rings were so stuck in some of the pistons, I couldn't even get the rings out. I mean, I tried. It just set up so long, the rings are just frozen. So, I got another 383 motor. And, I got some pistons that the rings are not stuck. So, they're the same bore, standard bore. Like I say, the cylinders are good in the motor. So, um... I'm going to put the new rings on these pistons, clean them up, and uh, I think I've cleaned one up. I'm going to put the new rings on these pistons. I think that's a brand new ring. No, that's an old ring. I think three of the pistons out of the eight were frozen. You got that one right here, and you got this one. I've soaked them, tried to clean them up. Rings won't come out. Tried to heat them up. So you got that piston, that piston, and I think there's another piston around here. Here it is in the vise. I tried to clean this one up too and get the rings out, and they just frozen. I mean, the motor set up, and what happened to the motor was when it set up, the intake gasket got a hole rusted in it. As you can see, the light couple holes and that's what let water inside of the motor and it got down in the cylinders through the valves and so uh, that's what locked it up so anyway I got new uh, rod bearings um, can I open some of these up where did it lock these days where you can't yeah. Brand new rod bearings. I got a uh, brand new intake gasket. Brand new Fail Pro intake gasket. See right there it says uh, intake manifold gasket with the sealant. Got two brand new head gaskets. I don't think you can see these. Yeah, two brand new head gaskets. I got, I think this is the exhaust manifold gaskets. See? Try and get some good light. This phone is crappy. Exhaust manifold gasket. And I think these are the valve cover gaskets. They're a valve cover gasket set. Fits a 361, 383, 400, 440, 413. And got the oil pan gasket. Brand new oil pan gasket. So. So, with all that being said, I'll be ready to build it. I got to, I got some valve seals too. Oh yeah, I forgot about this stuff. I got the new valve seals. Valve stand seals. I'm going to redo the heads. And also I got brand new water pump because the one that's on there as soon as I got the motor to finally turn over it started leaking 
So that's a brand new, uh, I think it's a Reman water pump. So. So anyway, um, if you haven't seen the car, if you've been watching my video, I'll uh, show you a picture of it. There's the car. I've cleaned it up, uh, got all the tree sap off of it, and mildew, and so. Car is not in bad shape for the year it's in. Being a '67, so no dents or nothing after I cleaned it up. So I think the doors are locked. But I found the factory radio and another one. So I got the factory radio for it. So basically that's it guys. Uh I'm gonna get it get all the rings and pistons together and and uh get the valve stem seals on the heads and um Start putting it back together and hopefully she fire up with no smoke, no knocks or ticks. So, uh, so anyway, I'll get back with you guys when I get it up and running. Later.